Hi, we are Professional Masters of Education students at University of Limerick and this is our podcast on the Bioecological Learning Theory, created for submission by Friday the 18th of November 2016. My name is Damien McIntyre and I am joined by Sally Greenwood, Raisa Smith, Donald Spain and Tina O'Dwyer. In today's class, we will be discussing the bioecological learning theory. Originally created by Braun von Brenner, who was born in 1917 and died in 2005, he took Erickson's theory a step further to show interacting social contexts that affect development. Erickson was interested in individual experience during different stages of development, where Braun von Brenner was interested in the complex system of each individual. He believed person's development was affected by everything in their surrounding environment. He broke down his theory into five levels. The microsystem, the mesosystem, the exosystem, the macrosystem, and the chronosystem. So, how do we apply the bioecological learning theory to Tarzan from Tarzan and Riley from Inside Out? Well, let's have a look. Huh. it alone. Yes. Are you sure? There are no others. I said he could stay. That doesn't make him my son. According to Schaffer, 2009, the microsystem involves the interactions and activities that occur in the person's immediate surroundings. In Tarzan, the immediate connections would be Jane, his gorilla mother, and his friends. In Inside Out, Riley's immediate connections would be her parents, her boyfriend, her friends, and her inner emotions. The mesosystem is the interactions between the different parts of a person's microsystem. Berk 2000 states that the mesosystem provides the connection between the structures of a child's microsystem. For example, it can be defined as the relationships between one's parents and friends or the relationship between one's friends. It asserts influence upon one another and can have a positive effect if one's microsystems are working with or a negative effect if one's microsystems are working against on the individual. Relating this to Tarzan, a positive effect on his mesosystem would be the relationship between Turk and Kala. Both Turk and Kala have a good relationship, which therefore places a positive effect on Tarzan. Tarzan's microsystems are working with each other, which promotes a positive effect upon Tarzan. Relating the mesosystem to inside out, an example of a negative effect would be when Jordan meets Riley's parents for the first time. Riley's parents do not want her to be associating with boys at such a young age. Riley's microsystems are working against each other, which immediately has a negative effect on Riley. Lean on to the exosystem, Bulger et al. 2007 page 38 defines the exosystem as face-to-face -face settings in which the individual does not actively participate but that can affect or be affected by develop the developing person. In Tarzan, Tarzan being the individual who does not actively participate was happily engaged with his gorilla family not knowing that there was other beings like him. 
Tarzan Scorrella father Karchak and Clayton the poacher, noted as the developing person according to Bulger, have major differences between each other. The poachers come to the island to capture the gorillas, this being noted as the face to face setting. Because of Kerchak and Clayton's differences, it has an indirect effect on Tarzan to pick one side, the gorillas he grew up with, or the new civilization. In Inside Out, Riley, who is the young girl also known as the individual who does not actively participate, enjoyed her happy, fulfilled life in Minnesota. Riley's father, Kyle, being a developing person, had gotten a new job, which causes Riley to move from her home to San Francisco. This would be noted as the face-to-face setting also. Riley is indirectly affected as she had no say in the matter and had to move because of her father's new job. Now, on to the macro system. According to Swick and Williams, 2006, the macro system is the larger systems of cultural beliefs, societal values, political trends, and community happenings that act as a powerful source of energy in our lives. The macro systems we live in influence what, how, when, and where we carry out our relations. Within Tarzan, the macro systems include the Congo rainforest, the lack of modern infrastructure, and guerrilla traditions. Where in Inside Out, the macro systems include first world developed country, rural living to then city living, as well as strong family values. The Chrono system is the fifth and final stage of Bronfen Brenner's ecological theory. Folsom 2014 states that the chrono system takes a broader look at the events that occur within an individual's lifespan. This system takes into account the influence that time has on events that take place throughout an individual's life, with a particular focus on any event that changes or remains the same with an individual or with their environment. Looking at Tarzan, his parents were killed by Sabre the Leopard and as a result he is raised by Kayla. This event occurs at the start of Tarzan's life, so he grows up knowing only the gorillas as his family. However, in Inside Out, the important event, which is a move from Minnesota to San Francisco, happens at the crucial age of 11. For Riley, her environment changes completely as she now has to grow up in a new house, make new friends and attend a new school. This causes her great distress and we see the negative effect the move has on her by the change in her personality. The question now is how can we as teachers use Bromfenbrenner's bioecological theory within the classroom? Well, according to Swick and Williams, 2006, page 371, Yuri Bromfenbrenner's bioecological perspective offers insights that can enhance our understanding of families. It also provides concepts we can use in crafting empowering relations with the families. This podcast has looked at the bioecological learning theory by Bromfenbrenner. It is evident that the different stages within the theory can be applied to everyone's lives regardless of their background. It is important for us as teachers to be aware of the various factors that influence our students' lives, which in turn helps us to create a stronger connection between us, our students and their families. Thank you for taking the time to view our podcast.